Hey guys, let's talk about the Tapu C200 RTSP stream setup. Basically here I have a Tapu camera, this is the C200, but it also works with any Tapu camera like the C100, for example. Here on my screen, you see that I have the Tapu camera already working via VLC, that's the software, and it's using the RTSP protocol. So basically here, when I come to media and open network stream, you see that I have this RTSP string right which is rtsp uh, double column backslash backslash then i have here the camera's username and password and the camera's ip and also the information of the stream that i want to get from the camera so you see here that's working with the rtsp okay so if you want to enable the rtsp you just need to co go to the camera let me just show here that I have here, for example, the Tapu C100, the one that we saw back there on the screen, and I also have the Tapu C200. Let's talk about the C200. You come here to the camera on your Tapu app, and then you come to the settings, and here just go down and look for advanced settings. There we go. And then camera account. As long as we enable the camera account here, the RTSP protocol is going to work. Here you see the account information. Basically, you just create a username and a password. The first time that you get here is going to ask you if you're, you're sure that you want to enable. You just say yes, you create a username and password, and you're good to go, okay? Then you come back here to advanced settings, and you check the network settings for this camera. Then you can have the IP. That's the IP of the camera. I can make it static, for example, so it doesn't change because this one uh, was the router that gave to my camera, okay? So you have your camera already working, everything's fine here with the app, and then you can use their TSP protocol now. Basically here, you see that if you don't know which, the, which is the string of their TSP protocol, you can use a software like this one, for example, okay? So this one, if I just, uh, bring the software and refresh here. It's going to scan the network and bring me the cameras that are available there with their test pre -pro protocol enabled. You see here that I have the C200. So if I double click here, I can just select the camera that I want and enter the username and password here. Okay, so basically here, the username that I put there on the camera for this one is Tapo Can and the password 1234567. Just an example, let me just make this bigger here. There we go. Then I hit OK. I just choose the recommended streaming here. It is going to connect to the camera via RTSP. There we go. You see that's working now. With the Tapu C200, sometimes you see this problem here, flashing with the green screen but it, it works better with the C100, okay? So just be aware of that when you're using their TSP protocol. Sometimes it works better for some cameras and not the good for other cameras. Let me just move this here and this one here. You see that I have the C100 working better. But anyway, you can just come here to check the channel info. And from here, you get the RTSP string. Okay, you see here TSP, and then you have the camera's name and password, the IP address, the port, and the stream number eight. That's the camera that's getting from the camera. Perhaps you can just change here to use a different stream. Let's say if I want to use a higher resolution, let's see if it works, then hit okay. So basically it's going to get a new stream from the camera, right? Let me just move this aside. Still having some issues here. So you just need to make sure that you're using a good software that can handle RTSP protocol. This one doesn't look that good to render at least this camera, okay? Or the camera has something that needs to be improved like a f with a firmware update or something. But basically when I try using here uh, the VOC player, let's just get the VOC player here and work with the same camera with this, um, C200, okay? So I have open network stream. And here I'm gonna use the credential for the camera, the IP address, everything looks good. And it's stream number one, which is the high resolution. 
There we go. And I have now working via VLC. And it's working pretty good. Okay. So as I can see here, perhaps the software is not using the best string to connect to the camera or the best resolution or something or protocol is not working good there. But you see that there are some difference when you use the software and when you use VLC. Okay. And then with the VLC here, you cannot control the camera, of course. So if I just bring the camera here and use the pen and tilt, you see from my cell phone, I can control. There we go. But I cannot control from VLC itself because there is no PTZ control here. Okay. If you're using different software, perhaps with the software, you can just have a RTSP working and also control the camera. But basically that's the way you can check the RTSP on a Tapo C200. Also works for different cameras. Just be careful with the software they're using, but basically works pretty fine with VLC, for example. Okay. I hope you like this video. Please just leave your comments here, subscribe to this channel, and I see you in the next one.